I think that a mix is something that I understand when I perform, mm. right? When those records hit those larger speakers and certain frequencies connect to the audience, I'm like, that's because I had it mixed a certain way. I know when I used to play my records at uh, other people's studios, you know, just press and play, some speakers would just point out such imperfections in my music that I'm just like, wow, why did it sound great on my speakers? Right, right, right. So it made me start researching what a proper mix is. And I mean, being able to take every element of a song, um, the production from the producer, the vocals from the artist, mm -hmm. um, and mixing them together, adding certain effects when it comes to reverb, uh, EQing elements out and frequencies out to make everything really flow together in a way where it's seamless. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you're working with multiple layers of textures and different, different different sounds inside of a song, sometimes when you throw that into a song, it could just sound like a brick of music. Yeah. But when you're mixing a song, you're able to cut out respective pockets for every individual sound inside of that song mm -hmm. to make it all live and, and, and well, live A lot together. of records that I get where the, you know, nowadays everybody has that demo white shit. Like that is just, you know, it's one of the things that every every artist has that I work with. And, you know, because there's so many engineers now, like, every artist has their own basic recording engineer that, that they work with. Uh, sessions, a lot of sessions that I work with that are new clients, a lot of those sessions really come already with the effects that they have on there. So I like to just fine tune what they had rather than stripping it down and and, and rebuilding the, the, the effects. You know, they've been living with that with that with that rough mix or with that edit for so long you go back and switch up the, the verb it might change the tone of the vocal or change the tone of the placement of of any instrument so you know i like to kind of just uh shine up what's there rather than going back and, and rebuilding effects at least we used to record on a broken microphone you know uh the mic the literally was it was broke where you hear distortion coming out of it mm -hmm. and at this time we had no money to go and just go to the store and go buy a new mic real quick you know a couple hundred bucks was you know that was a million dollars to us so instead of you know just not recording um we we added extra distor distortion on the plug inside to mask. <laughs> I hate the fact that you know they're putting us in a box, right? They're teaching right. us how to create music based on legacy recordings and these old techniques that are not valid anymore, right? In today's time, you can send a song to mask and distort it, but that's the vibe of the record, right? Right? It's all about what feels good to you, right? That so don't feel like you're subjected the... to these ones and zeros you see in these fucking books. Fuck all that. It's not really ones and zeros when I mix. It's more of a feeling. You know, once I feel things locked in, I know it's right. You know, I don't, I don't sit up here and, yeah, let's turn, just turn 12k up. You know, 12 dB. Now we're not doing that. You know, it's it's a feeling. We want to give a little bit of that human, that human nature to it. You know, what I'm saying that love. You know, it's it's, it's it's ways that I know how to use this board to to use that type of distortion in my favor. You know, to give that that kick or that 808 or that hi hat or whatever. I'm 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 blowing out of proportion when it comes to level. I'm able to get a certain type of like peak or like a good distortion from it when I can manipulate it through this board. You know, when you're mixing on on analog gear, you can you can you can distort and you won't get a distortion sound. You will just get a, a a more you know a more fatter sound if that makes sense. But with me also, it's a constant blend. Again, I'll go with the 808 and vocals. I'll make sure the blend. I'll make sure the vocals sit well on top of the 808 with that blend together. And then I'll have the 808 and kick and percussion and make sure all those things blend. I want to make sure everything sits in its in its respective pocket. So, you know, there's a lot of just fine tuning and cutting out little frequencies here and adding there just to make sure everything is is sitting around or on top of or, or under each other. Pretty much, I, he's a workaholic. I'm with him 24 7 in the studio. If we're out of town doing shows, if we're shopping, you know, everywhere we're at, we're just always together. That's, 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 that's my brother, my mentor. I look up to him. He's, he's, a, he's a smart individual. He's, he's a genius. He's, he's a workaholic as am I. We, 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 we got this bond where we just, we just work.